So, I'm sure you all have heard order of operations before, yes? Yes. Okay. What is order of operations? <laughs> Somebody said PEMDAS. Yes. I write it a little different than a lot of people. What? Um, what is it? Tell me what it does, first of all. We know it this is called it It gives directional steps to do it. Um, what's the one? Huh? It's like where you start in a... The order that you simplify in, right? Okay. Simplification. Tell me what does it mean? What what? <laughs> okay, so that's what we use to help us remember it. But what does it mean? What does each letter? That's, that's why. Yeah. 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 Good job. All right, so I'm I'm going to elaborate on some of these a little bit more, maybe than what you're used. To. Okay. Parentheses. Exponents. What did you say? M D is multiplication Now, I'm going to add a couple things on here that your other teachers may not have added before now. Not not another operation, but with parentheses, I'm going to say any grouping. symbol. Okay, so things to remember with this. Not just parentheses, if you see brackets anywhere, okay, if I see a fraction, you can put parentheses around the top and you can put parentheses around the bottom. A fraction groups things, okay. So if I were simplifying a fraction, I would need to do the top and the bottom separately first before I do anything else. Okay. So any type of grouping symbol here. Exponents are pretty self-explanatory. We talked about that yesterday. Why did I write multiplication, division, addition, subtraction the way that I did with slashes instead of just writing M D A X? Why did I write the M D and the A S with a slash like that? Y'all oh, are exactly right. They they are weighted the same, okay? So it's whichever comes first when you look left to right. So here first, left to right. Okay? So if I happen to have something that was um, 8 divided by 4 times 2, I don't jump straight to the multiplication because multiplication and division are equal. Okay, so I do whichever comes first, left to right. So I'd have to do 8 divided by 4 first and get 4 and then multiply it by 2. They never taught What? They never taught you that? I was wait, told wait, that wait, in like 5th okay. grade. Like whatever, whatever comes first. Ah, thank you. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm getting so caught up in, in making sure you know the order that I'm going to do the math wrong. 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 2 uh, is 4. four. I'm sorry. Um, but make sure because this... Um, every place students mess up with order of operations, it always happens here, okay? Multiplication, division are equal, addition, subtraction are equal. It's left to right. Same way you read, left to right. You read a sentence left to right, you read a mathematical expression left to right as well. Okay? Let's do some examples and see. Yes, I'll wait for you. I'll wait. I'm going to give you, we'll, we'll walk through the first one together and then we'll kind of move on together. Um, 27 divided by 3 squared 
And I know that your book uses an X for multiplication. Do not do that. Okay. Right. Because, because when she, it's like a, um, she's a variable. A variable. A letter. A letter. We started talking yesterday about variables and using them and simplifying and, and evaluating. And we really don't want, at this point, we do not want to use an X for multiplication. You can use a dot, it's fine, um, but never, never, never an X. Okay, so let's look at this. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So I'm going to go left to right. How about parentheses? Do you see any parentheses or any type of grouping symbols in this expression? Oh. By the way, tell me why this is an expression and not an equation. Um, there's no equal sign. You're exactly right. Equations have equal signs. Expressions do not. Okay. It's not an algebraic expression this time because what's lacking? Very, very But it is a numeric expression. All right, parentheses. Grouping symbols, nope, don't have any, so I'm good. Exponents. Three to the second power, you're exactly right. I do have an exponent, so I want to evaluate that first. What is three to the second power? Nine. Now, I know that you have a calculator, that you can put this in the calculator. I want you to remember my examples model the amount of work that I want you to show on your homework, okay? So I want to see these steps as you go. This is building that foundation I need to make sure that you have before we move forward. All right, any other exponents? No. And again, if there were more exponents, you still move left to right as you see them, okay? That's a general rule of thumb. All right, <clears throat> exponents done. How about multiplication division? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Do the division first because left to right, it comes first, right? Yeah. So what is 27 Three. divided by nine? Three. Am I done now with the multiplication division? No, because I still have more. Remember, I'm moving left to right, so I'm going to keep moving through. What do I have? Three times two, which is? So now I'm done with the multiplication division. Addition, subtraction. Yes, I have subtraction. Six minus three is? Three. And now I'm done. Am I going too fast? Is this no. okay? All right. Let's try this one. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I have lots of grouping symbols here, right? Yeah. This, this is what it tells me are two of them. Good luck. Wow. All right. I, we've talked a lot about moving left to right when we do. Parentheses and grouping symbols are a little bit different because I want to go, I want to start as far inside as I can before working my way out. So when I look at parentheses, I don't think so. I'll chat. We want to do that innermost parenthesis first, so I heard 8 plus 13, that is correct. What is 8 plus 13? 21. 21. It suddenly doesn't look so bad anymore, does it? Because now I just have the one set. So 30 minus 21 is? Um, negative nine. It's nine. Yeah, nine. So here's my question. There's no operation there. That's what I was going to ask you. There's no operation. You multiply. Okay. Anytime you have a parenthesis without an operation in front like that with something there, that's a multiply. So two times nine is. Yes or no? Yes. Let's take what we did yesterday then and combine it with this and see if you still got it. What? 
Let's say I had and I said evaluate when y equals 8. So now you got to take what we did yesterday where we were plugging in, and now you have to use your order of operations to simplify. Okay? So much fun, right? Okay. That's right. Remember, this is what we did yesterday. Yes, yes. So yesterday when we had a variable and we were given a value for that variable, we just plugged it in, right? So 10, yep, times 8. What? Oh, I don't know. I haven't gotten to the end of it yet. Okay. Right now, I've just plugged in. Is anybody confused on just plugging in? Okay. Now, remember I told you fractions are a type of grouping symbol? Okay. It groups the top is grouped together. So technically, you could put parentheses around the top and parentheses around the bottom. And I say that because I don't want you to start dividing first. What do you do first? Um, 10 times 8. 10 times 8. So I've got 80 plus 1 over 8 plus 1. What can I do now? Add them. Add them. I'm going okay, to have a room here. Someone come to the side. 81 divided by, and now I can divide and get. So these are kind of some independent practice problems, and then we'll do them together. Let's do here. I just want you to evaluate. Good. Here are the four practice problems that I want you to try in your group, and then we'll come back and do them together. Okay? So I give you a few minutes to work on them. All right, look at the first one. Remember, maybe I should write some dice over to you guys for you. What am I going to do first? The parentheses. So, what's in parentheses? Three plus nine, Three plus nine which is? Twelve. Twelve. She's given the final answer. That's the parentheses. That's okay. That's okay. All right, so there's no operation indicated, guys, but there is a there is a parenthesis with a number outside, so that means I multiply. So you did give us the correct answer there. It is 48. Four times 12 is 48. Number two, parentheses, but I have parentheses and brackets here. What should I do first? The innermost parentheses. So I've got two times what's nine plus three? What do I do now? <laughs> Which is? Y'all got this. Yes, How about number three and four a little bit different? We're plugging in and then we're using order of operations. So I plug in the eight for y. Eight squared minus three. What do I do first? The exponent, so I get 64. Y'all are on fire. <laughs> Number four, which do I do first? All right, guys, guys. 